Let me start this video by saying my daily practice routine takes around one hour to one hour and a half to finish. Shocking? I think having said that, you already know where this video is headed. Practicing versus playing guitar in general. I'm sure you know this by now or probably you've heard this before. Um, if you haven't, I will just let you know what it's all about really. Basically, playing guitar in general can mean so many things. It can mean probably that you're learning a new piece or you're practicing a new piece or you're practicing rhythm. Let's say compass, learning a new palo, learning the fretboard of the guitar knowledge, etc. There are so many things when we say playing guitar, right? However, practicing technique, meaning really muscle work, for me, it's a completely different approach to going and picking up your guitar. Why is my daily routine program so short? Well, honestly, not everybody, let's say, has have the privilege to practice uh, so many hours a day for or dedicate so much time for guitar to practice. And many people might think that one hour and a half, let's say to two hours, might never be enough, let's say, to advance in their technique. And uh, right there, I think we need to ask, what are you really going to be doing during this one hour and a half to two hours, let's say? When I practice, basically, I tend to cram in all the exercises together. I tend to even sometimes uh, combine exercises like it's all, let's say, condensed, compressed or smashed together, <laughs> whichever word you want to use. And I even sometimes combine exercises like, like I was saying to extend their duration for more effectiveness, let's say. And for me, honestly, that's why playing or practicing this one hour or one hour and a half is enough to at least maintain my technique. So my recommendation would be start planning your program. And I don't mean just for the current day, but for the whole week, at least between, let's say, practicing muscle work for the left and right hand between practicing rhythm itself, it's very important, or between reviewing some palos that you already know, or if you want to learn some new palos, let's say, and fretboard, let's say here, the knowledge, the knowing the guitar itself, it's very important because at the end of the day, we are playing guitar and we need to know what's happening inside here. So this is also something very important. And then, for example, let's say you start Monday, you do the muscle work, Tuesday, you start doing something more in rhythm, or let's say Wednesday, you start doing more palos, Thursday, you want to review some pieces, Friday, you can repeat techniques, Saturday, you can do some fretboard stuff, let's say. Like in flamenco guitar, especially, we have so many things to do, right? With so much time. So I recommend to get going and start planning your programs, really. Also, since I talked about the daily routine program in this video, I would like to invite you to check out my monthly program on my Patreon page. Uh, I honestly made this course or these three different courses, especially for that, really, especially so that uh, you can make your own program or you can just simply follow the videos that I put in order step by step and you can have your program. I put, well, the order basically is that I put one video always, uh, is one video I explain the exercise first without any, any metronome or anything, I just explain and then in the following video, I play that exercise on metronome at a slow, let's say moderate to slow speed so that you can see how it's being played with the metronome. And I also talk about uh, what you should do if you want to just maintain your technique, for example, versus what you should do if you want to improve this type of stuff. I highly recommend that. Uh, I hope that you, you get to check it out. And as always, I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. For now, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.